Well, the smoke is now clearing from the Black Friday fireworks, which started earlier than ever on Thanksgiving night. Millions of Americans hit the malls in a mad dash to get their hands on hot holiday deals at rock bottom prices. And ABC's John Triffin found himself in the middle of the mayhem and joins us from a Kmart in New York City. Good morning to you, John. I saw that you tweeted, what a difference a day makes. It is so different here. Bianca, good morning. You know, I feel like I can actually come out of hiding right now because things have certainly calmed down, at least here at this Kmart. Now, the past two days, everything you can imagine has been flying off the shelves with early indications that this could be one of the most profitable Black Fridays for retailers ever. Now, that's in large part due to those doorbuster deals that had people acting like, well, I'll let you be the judge. Here we go. At midnight Friday, when the gate went up, the crowd poured into this Victoria's Secret in Tulsa, Oklahoma, all for this, a pink, shiny gift bag filled with perfume and lotions, one of the deals that had Black Friday shoppers in a frenzy. When these prepaid cell phones were unveiled at a Walmart in Georgia, the crowd pounced like a pack of wolves. One woman appears to end up with someone's hand in her mouth. Walmart says no one got hurt. From a scramble for DVDs at another Walmart in San Diego, to this rush on a Forever 21. In Massachusetts, a toddler loaded into an ambulance after police say he was left in a parked car at 1.30 in the morning while his caregiver went shopping at Kmart for a 51-inch TV. In San Antonio, police say a man tried to punch his way to the front of the line at this Sears, prompting another man to allegedly pull a gun. The Los Angeles Police Department deployed hundreds of extra officers and even handed out shopping safety tips in local malls. So far, so good for the city of L.A. We have had a stronger presence uh, so people can be out there and enjoy the day. Many shoppers got just what they came for and had fun doing it. It's been crazy. The deals are great. The lines are long, but it's definitely worth being out here. It's fun to me to come out with everybody and just, just grab things that you can't really afford. I have fun doing it. And it looks like consumers are willing to spend more this year. 17% of shoppers spent more than $700, up from just 10% of shoppers last year. And nearly 67% of shoppers went out early for those Thanksgiving night deals instead of waiting until Black Friday. The National Retail Federation is predicting a booming holiday, $586 billion in sales, up 4% from last year. Now, retailers haven't released their official Black Friday profits just yet, but the good news for shoppers, if you haven't been out to the stores, many of those deals will last the entire weekend. Now, check out some of the deals we found here at this Kmart. These items are more than half price now. This uh, microwave, 59 bucks, and this bike, only $80. Still a lot of deals out there left to be had. Dan Biana, back to you. For that video of people going crazy, John, I think you deserve hazard pay after three days in the malls. Thank you. That's John Triffin. So with the holiday shopping stampede now in full effect, what is actually selling? ABC's Rena Nine is in Washington, D.C. With that part of the story, Rena, good morning. Hi, Dan. Good morning to you. With sales starting so early this year, retailers say they got an early head up, heads up on the re shopping this Christmas season. It was pretty hard to ignore the deals and the new gadgets, like your own drone. Apple, playing hard to get, wouldn't announce their deals until Friday morning, slashing iPads, iPods, and accessory prices to compete with stores like Target, offering as much as $60 gift cards with the purchase of certain iPads. And some of the deals, like at Best Buy, were announced via Twitter. So what were the big sellers in this year's Black Friday sales? It's pretty similar to last year. It's, it's electronics, video games, TVs, toys. Bradsdeals.com says the most popular deal was the Vizio 60-inch HD TV for $688 at Walmart. Target staffers tell us board games. Furby. Yes, Furby is back, along with traditional favorites, Barbie. Also hard to keep stocked, some believe this year's hot ticket item, Wii U. Watch TV and play games all at the same time. They may come in to check out the deal, but then find out something else is wonderful that they need to have or makes a great gift for someone else. Like Brookstone's AR drone. Gathering images from above isn't for the CIA or the Pentagon. This quadrocopter is marked with cameras that can film above and below. Sorry, no major price slashing here, but Brookstone says that doesn't matter. They're flying off the shelves. 
Cyber Monday may be now a thing of the past because these deals started so early. Walmart says they'll match prices bought from things from November 1st to Christmas Day. Biata, I bought a $10 slow cooker. I don't even know what you cook in a slow cooker, <laughs> Biata. But it somehow looked appealing to you, Nrina. That's right.